and welcome to Volume 3, Disassembly Assembly. Now, I'm going to be using two craft today because this one just went through Volume 1 and Volume 2, the cleaning, inspection check, and all that kind of stuff, and it is seriously wet. So I've got to disassemble this all the way down so it'll dry out. Then I'm going to reassemble the sport. Now, the sport was used in Volume 1 in the cleaning. It's already gone through the inspection. Uh, all that kind of stuff. The only thing that hasn't been done is the outer hull waterproofing. Now I did the enclosure because I knew this would be assembled so I used the Shield H2O on it. Not too impressed with that product, I'm going to be honest with you, but we'll talk about that in the waterproofing segment. So hey, let's get started. Alright, first thing you got to do guys is uh, if you have it on stands, take it off the stands because we're going to deflate this bad boy. Then make sure your rigging is all disconnected. Now what I do in this case is I go ahead and unzip this because it's the 1044 and I can do that. And just pull this segment out. And then remove the frame out of its sleeves and set them off to the side. The other side you have to disconnect the military spring valve outer nut. Now if it's tight Grab a pair of channel locks. Uh, that's what I normally do anyway, and I softly, I don't grab onto it real hard, but I'll set that thing out like this and just get it to where it'll crank turn. That's enough. Now I know I can take it off by hand. Now that airbag is free. There's still one more nut that we got to remove over here. Now what we're going to do guys is pull the aft section of the main bag enclosure. Now this has a zipper back here so I'm going to open that up. It just helps for removal purposes. If you don't have that then you just have to reach down deep inside. Now I always grab the frame and then hold the nose and pull it out like that. Pull the frame out of the sleeves, set it off to the side. Now the main chamber is ready to come out. So to move, remove the main chamber is really not that big a deal. Just make sure it clears your, your rigging here. Pull that one, that one, now that's out. Now what the next part of this is pulling the main bladder out. Now as you saw earlier guys, uh, you have an outer nut that comes out on the outer skin. Then the inner valve, it's the same way. Now I was checking to see if it was going to be finger tight. It wasn't, so I'm going to take it off the same way I did the other one. A pair of channel locks, just a light turn like that. Now the main bladder is released from its enclosure. All right, guys, the next thing to do is to unzip the main chamber enclosure. You'll find the zipper forward. All you do is grab it and follow it all the way around. Okay, now pull the main chamber out. We already did the inspection check on this so we know that the, uh, the main air bladder is good. So what I am going to do though is put the caps on and the nut just so I don't lose them because this is going to be drying for a few days. And there's your main chamber right there. Now during the inspection check process, I checked the main bladder for leaks and there was nothing. Everything's good. Same thing with the deck lifts, so I won't have to remove those. And the last thing to do as far as the disassembly goes is pull your floor out, uh, run it through the clean process, put the cap on it, and set it off, let it dry. Check. What I'm going to do is take the main bladder uh, enclosure and set it out here in the sun and let it dry and the same thing with the outer skin because this boat is tore down. Okay guys here is the sport totally disassembled and we're getting ready to assemble it. 
Step one is to put your main chamber into your enclosure. Uh, I know that all these parts are finally dry now. They went through volume one, volume two, and uh, now going into volume three, which is uh, assembly. So let's get started on that. Now, of course, when you're doing this, guys, make sure the end with the valve has the end with the hole. I know that's a ridiculous thing to say, but it could be put in backwards. Okay, and then the first thing you want to do is to make sure that's aligned. Now, what I do, because I'm inserting the bag all the way, I'm going to go ahead and put the nut on it, not tight, but just to keep it in place whilst I put the rest of the bladder in place. I just, a couple turns just to keep it in place. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert the bladder, making sure there's no twists. Again, the nose, I turn it into a taco shape like this, and then insert it, and actually grab it with my fingers in the back here. That way I know it's there. Bring that one. Again, still looking for twists. There would have been one. Making sure everything's right. Then once that's done, just basically zip it up like that. And then watch you don't pinch any of the main chamber or the bladder. Okay, that's all in. Now, the next step is something you don't have to do, but I do it to make sure that the, the bladder is in place. Now what I do guys is I just kind of do a partial inflate just to make sure there's no kink in the main chamber. Okay, we're all good there. And I'll let that out. That's just to make sure that your bladder isn't twisted anywhere. All right, the next part, guys, is the framing and then getting the uh, main bladder into the outer skin. So you can see a sleeve here. You want to run that down, line this one up, that one, then line this one in the sleeve, then push them all the way down till they seat. That part's ready. I don't do the back one yet. I want to get the front installed. Now, the trick to this, being there's no zipper on this one, is that I grab it like this. I feed the craft to the frame like that. Now I know that's in there. I'm going to recheck it. That part of the frame is on and in. Now I'm going to check the bottom sleeve, make sure that didn't come out. Again, grabbing this the frame. Now I'm checking the bottom and it came out. So you can do that kind of feeling around. Oops, had it and lost it. There it goes. Now it's seated. So it's easy to have them come off. So you just want to make sure that they're seated. Again, basically all we're going to do is tuck this in and attach the Velcro patch if you have the sport. Again, same thing. I'm attaching the Velcro section. Now I'm ready to put the back end in. I have to take the nut off, but I'm going to show you a trick on how to get that nut tightened up. All right, guys, so what we're going to do now is put the aft frame in, get it seated, and then I'm going to show you how to mount the main chamber through the enclosure hole through the deck hole. And there's kind of a little quick, cute trick that works for me, and I'm going to share that with you in just a second. First thing I got to do is take the nut off because I'm actually going into final placement. Same process as before. Long end here goes on top. Short end on the bottom. Again, grab it like this. Reach inside. And as soon as it gets here, I grab the frame with my hand. That way I know it's good. Holding it, pulling the excess material back. Now what I want to do is check the bottom frame to make sure that that sleeve didn't come out. That part of the frame didn't come out like it did on the front one, and no it did not. Okay, now, next step. We got to get that main chamber 
the bladder and the hole all to come together as one like that now to get this all set I use my knee to set the bag on I hold this nut like this set my knee underneath the boat so it's got something to rest on almost there we out there And you can see by setting your knee underneath that, you're able to put pressure on the, uh, the military spring valve in the main chamber bladder to bring it all up like this. So that part's done. And the boat is reassembled as far as frame and bladder goes. Next part is putting in the floor. Depending on what floor you have, I have the drop stitch. Basically, I just feed it and making sure that the outer main chamber enclosure goes over the top and then just reach in put this over the top like that okay now what I'm going to do is reattach the rear rigging reattach the front rigging well hey guys that's wrapped it up for volume 3 uh, disassembly assembly you saw how easy it was just a couple of precautionary notes when you're putting in your main bladder back in the enclosure always make sure that the nose of the main chamber always goes up to the front end of the uh, the enclosure I actually hold that with my hand to begin setting it in the sides and I do the same thing with the aft side then just pay particular attention that you don't have any twists anything like that go ahead and zip it up now if you want to you can do a partial inflate like I do it just takes it from where it was out and then it blows up and then it, when it settles back down it's going to settle back down in its proper position totally up to you the next part was aligning the nut through the bladder through the enclosure up through the hole in the uh, skin now the trick to that is is just lay it on your knee push you'll get enough pressure put the nut on you don't want to cinch that thing tight just finger tight is all you need then do a final check go ahead and inflate your craft like I've done here get it all inflated then what I do is I go and I check to make sure the frame is all the way forward now I do the same thing for the front making sure it's all aligned I know that this is totally assembled 100% now normally I would deflate this fold it put it away however it is so hot out here guys my entire hat has soaked through with sweat it's disgusting anyway however, this is getting ready for the next stage and that's waterproofing and I'm going to use this particular craft and I, I'm really not happy about this choice because I don't like the performance of the uh, H2O shield or shield H2O whichever one that is because I did it on the main enclosure on the sport did the water test and I saw where it didn't perform as well as the 303 however I am gonna finish up uh, the polyester deck with it when I get onto that episode but it may be a couple days because I had to reorder some of the uh, shield H2 or HTO shield I'm not sure which one it is uh, because that 11 ounce bottle was just barely enough to do the enclosure I still have the deck to do the seat to do then I still have the hole to uh, finish I do that with 303 protectant not 303 fabric guard but we'll get into that I'm getting ahead of myself but anyway that's on the next episode guys hope you enjoyed this one we'll see you on episode 4 waterproofing here shortly <laughs>